I spent time on the road to see no signs in the back of trucks. How's my driving? It's a sticker that's supposed to ensure those drivers stick with the rules. Now, as Chris Coppergrave shows us, a pair of Triangle area mothers are hoping to use that same strategy to protect teenagers. Team Road Angel is a concept that literally almost ran into Sherry Holland and Nancy Anderson. We were on a trip um, going down 95 South with our children in the car, and uh, we were ran off the road by car 14. And um, the first thing that we thought was, you know, I wish their mom knew. I wish their dad knew. A little more than a year later, and their new company is trying to do just that. Teen Road Angel is basically a new spin on an old bumper sticker. Parents sign up, get a numbered sticker for their teen's car, and allow other drivers to call in if that car isn't being driven safely. We sincerely hope that people will look at this as a good thing to have in their family. The program costs parents $40 a year, and so far there are only 35 cars out there with the Teen Road Angel stickers. But the company is barely two months old. As of now, we haven't received any reports. We look at that as a really good thing. That's not to say people wouldn't call in. We talked to drivers who said they'd rather call that type of number than the police. If I saw somebody reckless, I, I probably would call if I saw the number on there. It would help the person, the individual, in the long run to be reported. Police say the concept is a good idea since teen drivers often need a few years before they're considered safe drivers. Oh, I think it has a lot to do with just inexperience is what it is. Uh, whether they believe they're better or not, you know, that feeling of invincibility that teenagers have. But if they know that mom and dad could find out what they're doing, maybe they drive just a little better. Chris Copperthwaite, NBC 17 News. The Wake County Mayor's Association even passed a resolution supporting Teen Road Angel earlier this week, something that Cary Mayor Harold Weinbrock says is uncommon. Well, some big changes.